What's up everyone, Nethervoid here with a brand new series like I talked about in the previous episode of Destiny Sphere Program. This one's called Before We Leave. This is part of that poll I put up with, should we do Before We Leave or Star Dynasties, I think it was, and, and two-thirds of you wanted Before We Leave. So we're playing that. I kind of wanted it too, so I'm kind of glad it worked out that way. It's a kind of a cool um, Dyson Sphere Program meets Anno 1800. I didn't get to play Anno 1800, but I see the similarities there. Really cool game, and I, man, I wish I could have played that game. It's, now it's too late, kind of. Maybe maybe we can visit it if I find another game to play. Anyway, this is about Before We Leave. So this game just launched on Steam about, I think it's May 15th, May 13th, something like that. And it's the final version of it. It's actually been out for about a year on Early Access on a different platform. But now it's on Steam. It's 20 bucks. Check the video uh, description for the link. Um, pretty cool game. And what they've added, I guess, is scenarios. And one of them looks really cool that I'm going to try, which is called Seed Hunter. Um, so we're going to be trying that. Um, so the, the regular game is just building a city and trying to gather technologies, working on the tech tree to unlock you know, new buildings, getting production lines set up, stuff like that. You'll see when we start playing. Um, but it's basically, I'm not going to read through a lot of the script. You can read that if you buy the game. Uh, also, if you do buy the game, let me know in the comments section because I would like to get maybe your save files, check out your world, maybe highlight some viewers' worlds they've created or interesting things that they've set up. Tips and tricks are always great in the comments section. I do read those, all of them, and I usually pick up those uh, tips and play them in my Let's Play. So, uh, one episode a day, 30 minutes an episode as usual. Um, but basically, this is a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic game where your pe people, your peeps they're called, have been underground for a long period of time because they're waiting for the earth to rejuvenate basically. So in Seed Hunter, something happened with the seeds that we took down in underground. Now, all we have left is potatoes. We have to go find the other seeds on other planets and stuff like that. It's a really cool game. There's not a lot to it. Just get in, into it. It's kind of neat. Uh, and you'll kind of catch up. It's totally easy to catch on to. I haven't played all the way through, which I like to, but I don't think it's that difficult. Uh, it's kind of a peaceful game too, so... Excuse me, like no fighting and stuff like that, which... I don't know, I kind of like the fighting and stuff, but it's okay. Really quickly, let's do the beer of the episode, which uh, it's in my old glass, which is... Uh, it doesn't matter. Moonraker Idaho 7. Idaho 7 Miles. That's because this is an, uh, a hazy IPA, single IPA, with Idaho 7, which is kind of a newer hop. And Citra and Mosaic. Really chill beer. Not super hoppy. Just kind of just kind of really mellow. It's from Moonraker uh, from Auburn, California. Anyway, let's get into Seed Hunter really quickly. Uh, the only difference here is they've the peeps emerge without seeds. That's kind of it. And you get like a quest uh, log of what you're supposed to do to get the next seeds and unlock the next part of the game. It's kind of neat. So I'm going to try that. Also, from what I gather anyway... When I started with the regular game, I couldn't find a tropical island, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. All I found were deserts and ice islands, and that's a real bummer. So what I found with uh, Seed Hunter is there are no seeds which you get to pick a seed to start your game with to auto-generate it. And I played through a little bit to the second island and found it's a tropical island, so perfect. Um, tropical islands have some benefits, and I really wanted to have one. So, the peeps have made a horrifying discovery. Moisture seeped into seed stores and wood mold has... Mold? I don't think you spell it with a U, but maybe that's English version way to say it. Has spread like fungal wildfire. Sorry about that. Every seed from your history is gone just when you thought you couldn't get more sick of potatoes. <laughs> so, the way this works, too, is you have to have seeds from that... You have to have that vegetable or fruit on hand to plant a new crop of it is what happens so you got to find these ancient stores and that's where you find the seeds pretty cool uh it, this is just a you'll see you'll see so here's what we have to do for seed hunter you can see we got a little quest log on the side here this is where our peeps are going to come out of the shelter right here these are roads you can see it's a it's a you can see the similarity to dyson sphere program and it's also on a hex grid pretty neat this is basically a, an efficiency game see if you can make the most efficient city basically so the first things we want to find are our power plant, which you can see here. It's going to spread some pollution once it gets up and running. We're going to want to put all our pollution generating stuff kind of up by the power plant up here. Uh, this is the tool generator because it takes a while to get in this game to generate tools. We need to find a spot for um, production of uh, um, food, which I think is going to be over here. It requires quite a large area. Maybe it will be down here. It's going to take up this whole slot. Then we're going to make a pathway here and put a bunch of houses, and that's going to mess up our my idea 
Maybe I should cut some of these trees down and go that direction. Although that's near the pollution. I kind of want to go away from the pollution. Huh. You'll see why I'm thinking about housing the way I am. So let's start clearing. We start with three peeps. Let's start clearing some of this wood, or I mean stone out of here. Let's start clearing some of this wood that'll give us a little bit of raw resources to start with. Uh, let's just clear. This is a lot. That's okay. We'll clear a few of these. We're going to get some... Let's see. If I put the well there... I can put all the other stuff around here, so let's start doing this, and we'll do something like this, and we're going to have to kill this, so I can put a road there. Now we have a road to the tools manufacturer, which we need 15 wood to do that. We're not doing anything yet with that, because we need our wood to build stuff. Um, ooh, that's a good set of houses right there. We're going to have the road go off this direction, and a little bit over that way. So we've got some houses. The first thing I'm going to set up is like three houses, get some more peeps and get that going and then we want a well to get water and we want the well to be surrounded by potato fields because it gives the potato fields a bonus so we got like that we're gonna have to do something like that to get roads all the way over here you need roads connecting to every building basically there that's plenty probably a little overkill there but that's fine let's kill this okay we've kind of got most of it set up i also am going to want a, an explorer and a library which will help well, really, we need some wood manufacturing, so why don't we put up a wood hut, wood chopper, and I'm probably going to want to go this direction, too, to get some more wood. That's what she said. Let's go that way. Let's put uh, one wood uh, chopper there. I don't know what they're called, actually. They're called woodcutter. Let's put one over here as well, like this. We'll start getting some wood chopped down. They chop down trees in the area and replenish them, so I chopped those forests down. They won't come back till later. You actually can bring them back. Um, first potato made. That's good. But you got to be careful because you really want to harvest those. Actually, a woodcutter right here would be good too because I think the other ones are too far away for the for these two um, these guys right here. Uh, let's also make our explorer, which will gather a science, and then I don't know. There's fine, I guess. A library close by would be good. So let's do, and we'll make that our road to up there. Okay, and then we could put like a warehouse back here. I'm kind of thinking as I go. Um, that's kind of what this game again is about efficiency and placement like the gatherer is going to go gather this green science here's our science okay this one has 29 green science in it it runs out so once it's all gathered up it runs out we've got other stuff around here that the explorer will around and gather it there's a couple more patches right there are there any uh ancient ruins so we can gather some seeds i don't think you can actually find them till you get farming but the gatherer will gather a science, and this library is where we're going to research. We want to get researching immediately. So everything kind of has a bonus. Well, not everything, but I know houses do. So because these houses are adjacent to two other houses, well, they're, they're huts, we get uh, two extra peep spots. So this house actually can house four peeps, not two peeps, okay? Very, very beneficial in the long run. This is what you want to do for efficiency. As you can see, that's why I've set up. I'm going to have a string of these guys so they're all touching each other. Another bonus you can get is by putting your food next to the houses i kind of feel like the housing bonus is better so i didn't do that but if you look at this guy right here we've got a 10 percent bonus from the well uh we've got plus two potatoes by being nearby nearby field gives you extra storage not super beneficial but we don't have warehouses yet so that's kind of good um what are the bonuses for this guy i think being nearby forest plus two wood storage okay that's good again we don't have warehouses so that's kind of a big deal let's start making some tools you can see up here we have zero you need tools to create. This this guy's probably waiting on tools. Yeah, you can see no tools. So every building requires a certain amount of tools to get built, and I think they use those tools to operate the building. Um, lots of stats here in this game, which I think is really cool. Right up here, you're kind of your main stats when you start off. How much wood do we have? How much stone do we have? Which is a limited amount to whatever you harvest in the beginning. Like, let's go get that one, I guess. We'll get stone harvesting in a little while. Uh, and then tools, obviously, are out. Uh, you can also click this to see how many idle workers you have. None. Empty posts. I have an empty post. I should build another one of these peep mobiles, basically. Let's do it there. We'll get the maximum benefit. And then after I build this guy, we're going to have to tear down that forest so I can actually extend this out a little bit. Get some extra bonus over there. So we need more people, as you can see from that. Now, as you build your city up on that island, um, people start to get upset because it's overcrowded okay now i don't know if it's per island or if it's per planet i really don't know uh from what i've seen there are three islands per planet so we'll see i think there's i think this one has five planets uh so we will see so now we can do some science 
let's get elevator that will help us lift up into this area where all our stone and iron is and this is a little bit unfortunate i have to go all the way around to get this iron but that's okay i can probably so i'm gonna come up this road i really want to do it right there because it'll be super close so i think for now we're gonna do that we need the road to this uh, ruined generator anyway for repairs, which we will be doing later. So you can see this is where the pollution is going to end up on, in these squares or these hexes. And you can get rid of it later with some technology, but you don't want it on houses. And it affects peeps in different ways, which we'll talk about uh, as it, you know, as we care. So we're generating more tools from this old, this is old tech, this transmogrifier where you give it some wood and somehow you get tools out of it. Uh, very cool. Now we can also generate the elevator. Let's build it right there. This will let us get up in here and get... Probably what I'm going to do is... Actually, should have done it there and gone my, done my road right there. In fact, we can destroy this now and we'll get everything back. So let me try to do it like this. Because I really want to put the stone thing right there and the iron thing right there. So I don't have to go as far. Then we're going to want roads. Well, we can't until we build that. Okay, let's do some more research. Let's get mining so we can actually get some stone mining very cool this also tells you how many peeps you still have in your store in in the underground area we have 34 more peeps once that runs out you need a school to train up children okay so that's not going to be a big a problem for us for a while so we don't really have to worry about it this is leftover stuff i don't know what it for and i guess they just pick it up as they need it how are we doing on wood we're doing good on pretty much everything let's go make some more tools if okay you have to keep checking that all right let's get roads 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 and then we're going to do a stone... Oh, whoa, we haven't researched it yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I've played the fur through to the second island about seven times. is why I'm kind of going so fast with it. But it's a pretty easy game to pick up. It's not that hard. Uh, here's some more stone. Let's get that really quickly. There's no reason to, to keep it there. Let's make a road to the ship, which we're going to repair to find our second island and colonize it. Do we need more? I think we're good on wood. I don't think I need another woodcutter. How, how are people? We've got four idle workers. You don't want too many idle workers because you got to feed everybody. So you gotta be careful. So we're gonna go here for food. And we've got oh, we got tons of we got tons of potatoes. The water's okay too, so I think we're good. Let's also get Okay, we can't get metal work yet. I really kinda wanna repair. Warehouse is good. But you want repair because you wanna get you wanna get the power up and running really before you get the metal work, which you have extra two buildings uh, that go along with that. Let's get the stone guy working though. So we're just gonna go like this, so he's closest to the road. Now, the peeps walk on the roads, so you want to try to make your roads really efficient. Uh, with the elevators, you don't, want to, you don't want to have a traffic issue with the elevator. Only one peep can go on at a time, and that can create a bottleneck. So, some cool stuff to manage in this game. I really like it. We're going to go for... Re now, I'm going to go for metalwork first. Because we really... Well, you can get into a tool situation if you go... Um, if you go the other way around, because then you use up all your tools and you're waiting for power. So I think I'm going to go with repair first. We almost have enough. So what happens is the librarian goes over and gathers the science. That's why you want to make it right next door. Also, these guys get bonuses when they're next door to each other. Um, as you can see, when you place them, you can see the bonuses that are up here when you place them. Uh, this one doesn't have a bonus. Why? It's right next door. I thought that gave it a bonus. Apparently not. I thought it did in the last one. All right, so let's get... Let's get metal work that's going to give us more stuff to do. And on the next research, we'll just get, um, we'll get repair. It'll be fine. All right, so we got our stone guy up and working. You can see it also generates a little bit of pollution. Well, I kind of want to put all these guys together again later so you can get, you can scrub it. Three workers, that's kind of a lot. Do we need more guys yet? Yeah, we kind of do. Why don't we make one more house right here? That'll give this guy, well, four is the max benefit for huts. You can upgrade these later to houses and other larger development apartments and actually put more peeps in there. And that's really beneficial because space is limited in this game. It's all about space management. So you want to have as many people living in one spot as possible. Now, that also generates gloom, which you can deal with, with you know, fountains and other things to reduce the gloom of, you know, living near high rises and stuff. Also, a thing to worry to watch out for is when you're building around the center thing right here, this uh, the shelter, is... Sometimes I'll build something right there or whatever, and then there's no path, and they walk really slowly when there's no road, because roads uh, make peeps move faster. So that's also something to think about. Uh, we need 20. Okay, let's build uh, our iron dude. Let's get him working. Let's get the peeps in there. So this is where you're mining out stone. There's a limited amount. 
iron's the same way. This has a thousand. But you can see I got two more iron over here, another stone there. I've got plenty on this island. Now, another thing to think about when you're thinking about your island is what is your island going to specialize in? As you get more planets and more islands, three per planet, I think, um, that's a lot. So why don't you, you know, specialization is usually what works, just like we saw in Dyson Sphere Program and other things, other games like that. You want to specialize. We probably should build another wood cutter or whatever. Um, we can also get bridge, I think, right now, or gardening, but I don't really care about that. Why don't we expand this guy like this, and then let's put um, one more wood chopper here. It's pretty far away, but I think it'll be fine. Really want to get that 20 so we can get that repair moving. Because right before long, we're going to need... Um, well, I think we can build them right now. Yeah, we can build the uh, iron smelter and the toolsmith right now. But I really want to get this guy running. But we can't. So let's just build the manufacturing centers. The iron smelter is going to turn your ore into iron. It's got a really large... Like, look at that space for pollution. So I like to put it way over here. Actually, what I'm going to do is extend the road there and put them back here. I kind of want to put the warehouse right there. I could put one of them right there. They, they get bonuses for me next to each other, though. You know what? I'm going to put this elevator over here. Maybe this is kind of in the wrong spa spot. Can I destroy it? Oh, demolish. Yes. We're going we're gonna to demolish this. We're going to move the elevator to here. That's where I should have put it anyway. And then we can put those two right there. So let's put a road there. And we'll put the elevator there. Then I can do this. And I can put this smelter here really far away. And I can put the toolsmith here. And then we can kind of keep all the pollution in one spot. When I put my pollution scrubbers down, they'll work this spot more efficiently. Although I don't have a road. I'll probably have to go behind and do it. So can I? Yes, I can. I can get repair. Cool. Bridge is what you can get too, which will bridge like across this gap if you want to put some stuff over here and you don't want to go all the way around. That's kind of neat. We don't really have a use for it here, but because we have one giant set of mountains, or basically. Okay, everything's going really well. Let's keep making tools though. We do not have tool manufacturing set up yet. This is going to help us ma manufacture tools, okay? Can we get the. Re oh no, we don't have a research yet. So the iron smelter is going to smelt our iron into bars. Then, which I bet you we're going to be. I'm going to put a warehouse probably right there. Then. Man, I wish I could put it right next to it, but that's a really far to go to go around. That's much better. They can go faster. So once we get these built, we're waiting on tools again. Um, we can make iron bars, and then this guy consumes those to make tools. He's already making tools. Cool. How? Oh, they're just building the building. Okay, because we need this guy. So we've got our iron smelter. We've got our toolsmith, but we do not have power. Does this guy require power? Yes, you can see the little icon that require power. That comes out of this generator. Now, later on, we can tear this generator down. We get the, we get the science to create a generator on our own, which it burns wood. Uh, you, you can't see it right now. Oh, repair, sweet. And we do have the tools. That's perfect. Um, it burns wood to get power. So later, and then the peeps carry the power. It's kind of weird. But later, you can tear this down. Like, if it's too near your city center, you can move it way over here off in the Nowhereville and where nobody cares about um, pollution or whatever. That's perfect. Uh, idle workers, three. I might want to start expanding. Why don't we cut this down? Expand our Peepsville over here. How's food doing? I haven't looked at that in a while. Oh, 80 and 22. We got plenty. Research, we got 15. And if you click these, it'll show you a little bit more about them. Oh, that's just the... Uh... There's a way to get more information. I really don't care too much right now. Show me where the idle workers are. We got five. We probably don't need any more right now. No babies, no kids, whatever. Okay, I think we're good. I think everybody's good. Power up and running. Smelt waiting for the power because this guy's crafting his first set of power. And now he's going to take it. You should see the peep go over there. Okay, he's got the power now. Oh, no. Okay, I don't know what they moved in there, but okay. So now this guy's got... He's going to get iron. What is this? Oh, that's the, the uh, collector. You can see he just moved the power in there. If you click a peep, you can look, see about them a little bit, where they live, where they work. That's kind of neat. He's had potatoes. You can see if they're happy because there's a happiness factor that comes in later. First Iron Maid, nice. There's a happiness factor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a warehouse now because I want to make sure that we don't run out of space for this stuff. 
Where's the warehouse? I can't remember where it is. Is it Peeps? No, it's not under Peeps. Oh, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't researched it yet. So let's get warehouse. It's really easy and cheap. It's very fast, and then we can build a warehouse. So what's going to happen is that will make extra space. So all the extra tools we make can go somewhere. Because if it doesn't, they're just going to sit there. They're not going to generate anything. And then, then we're going to want to start repairing the boat. Because I think it's already time for us to go to another uh, place here. So let's get... Uh, we can't repair that yet. Oh, we need 25. Okay, we need more peeps on the island. We only have 20. So let's expand, I guess. This is a good reason to expand. Let's do that. That'll give us at least four more peeps. Why don't we go here? Uh, more bridge. We'll get bridge, I guess. Gardening is not something we really need right now. Uh, let's get a warehouse right here. It's a two. It's a two tile structure. So think about that when you're planning. Now warehouses are kind of neat. Obviously they create overflow. We want like in all these games, we want buffer, right? A buffer system is is, is your is your friend. And you can tell it what to it can store. You have to tell it. So what we're gonna do is tell this thing. This is where we want our tools, iron bars, and iron ore. Then we're gonna make another one probably here for like food, water, and wood. You want to kind of put it near the industry where it's happening. Like the water is being pulled out from here, all the food and everything. Which I think we're gonna need new more water soon. That nah, seems like we're fine. Um, so I'm probably gonna put another warehouse right here. For food and water and stuff. No, I want it. Can I turn it? R? No, R does not do it. I don't like that spot that you try to put it, dude. I want it like this. Um, I guess we could put it... Wow, it's way off in the distance, though. Ooh, right there. They're not really doing anything. Oh, okay. I can just aim it where I want. If I aim it like that, it'll do it. Do I really want that right there? That seems like a nice spot for something else. There's a lot of pollution over there, though. This might be a great spot for the school. Schools don't care about pollution, though. That's actually a great spot for my, um, for where to launch uh, boats and stuff. So actually, I'm thinking about, maybe I will put it here. We can always move it. We can always build another one. We have plenty of tools or I'd convert some wood. We actually have less wood now. So let's, we don't have enough peeps yet. 24. We need one more building, one more house. Let's do that. And we're going to put this next house right here. As you can see, these peeps are really happy. They're singing. It's hard to tell why. Uh, one number of building from field. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's just telling you the bonuses. I'm not really sure why they're happy, but they are. Cool. Now we have nowhere to extend this, so I probably will... Well, I'm going to put a house there, but we can extend it past here. Let's kill this. I'll move this guy down into here so we can just keep this road going and put more houses in here. I can actually go all the way around here. If I really wanted to. I might stop and put a road just so there's something else to do. Why don't we kill this? We're going to move it. That way I can extend the road right there. So we've restocked 100 potatoes so far. That's cool. Uh, we need 100 to get past that piece of the, the game. So we got a warehouse. Let's tell it what we want. It's tools, iron bars, and iron. And then we're going to basically put everything else in this one for now. Uh, we're not upgrading, no. We're just going to say we want you to store... Food, water, well, it's really potatoes, water, wood, and stone. There we go. Cool. Very, very cool. Probably should have put it over here so it's closer to the lifts and stuff. Actually could have put it right there. I wonder if there's a warehouse bonus. Let's do that. Oh, we can't because that's, that's a warehouse spot. All right, so we move that guy. Let's actually put him back in. Our, our wood is going to start to suffer. We need road there first. Let's put our wood guy back in. Then we'll put more road. And then I think we're going to cut this off and maybe go up that direction so that we can connect everything. Maybe around here just in case they need to go around, I guess. And then let's build a couple, like one more hut, I guess. Because um, I want to stay ahead of the game a little bit with peeps. I'm not sure if it takes your peeps. Empty post five. Yeah, we need more peeps, actually. Let's make... I want to be really careful with pop. Oops, I don't like that placement. Let's kill that. Yes, kill. I want them to be a little bit more social. Let's put it like this. There we go. And everybody's the same, except that one dude who's different. Now let's repair the ship. And then we're pretty much going to be done once we get this repaired. So this is going to give us a free colony ship. It's not free. We have, to, we have to spend on it. But the colony ship allows you to colonize another island. How many peeps have we got left in here? 20. Plenty of peeps. Um, 
The next thing we're going to want to do is... What's our research looking like? We need to research probably gardening. And we can't get a shipyard until we get to the next island, which I think is... I think this guy is shipyard or something. Uh, school's 30. Let's get gardening. It lets us get other things. Um, can't get gardening. Why? 20 green research. We have 30. Allows construction of... Oh, we probably need to, to find the next ancient ruin, which is on the next island. So let's get school, I guess. Another thing is, research is local. So if you want to research something green and red here, you got to ship the red in off your shipping lanes, which we'll get into that. This game gets pretty complicated. At first, it seems like, well, this game is pretty dull. I mean, you're not really doing anything. It seems that way. It does. But it gets more complicated as you get more into it. As you can see, I'm already starting to think about you know, very, com you know, compact setups and stuff. In fact, it wouldn't be a bad idea to keep going with this line of, of huts. Yeah, let's, well, if I do that, this guy's nothing to do. But I kind of want to use this for huts. We've got the road going around. I can keep this line going and make a lot more efficiency right there. But we probably don't need those peeps for a long time. Empty post three. Oh, maybe we do. Maybe we need them right now. Oof, okay. Well, yeah, I really don't want to chop the forest down, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's move this guy all together, because now he's really just not in a beneficial spot. Let's move him way over here. Uh, let's move him to here. Like that. Now, the warehouse for wood is all the way over here. So that's kind of far to walk, but it is what it is. We don't want this anymore. We don't want this. Uh, we want to do something like... We're going to have to kill this two. And road, road. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to build two more huts. Like that. And get us a little bit more pop. Because we have empty positions here. So what do we got here? What do we got? They're making it. It's almost done. And we're going to cut the episode. That's going to be awesome. Perfect stopping point. So this is pretty much as far as I've got uh, in my other games. Just because I really was just looking for a great uh, island. And I think picking this scenario is a really good way to get it. Because I think your second island is always the rainforest island. Which is really good for wood and stuff like that. It's probably going to be our wood island. And you'll see what I'm talking about later. I think we're going to have this island going to be mostly food. Because it's really like a lot of grasslands which are good for food. But really almost nothing else. So there we go there. We connected those roads so they got a little bit more efficiency when they're moving around. Let's put another wood chopper over here, probably. Although we have plenty. Maybe we don't need it right now. I'm just going to demolish that. I don't know if roads cost anything. Do they? I don't think so. All right. Dragon Spawn has been constructed on Island 1, Planet 1. Nice. So hopefully you like this series. I think it's really fun. I'm having a great time. I'm going to pause just because I can. But... Let me know what you think in the comments section and like this video if you did like it. Again, I'm on, I'm, I'm out, uh, I'm, uh, pfft. what am I doing camping right now uh, for Memorial Day weekend? So, uh, well, actually, anyway, it doesn't really matter. So I'll be back, but you're still going to get your one video per day because I'm going to pre-record these. Let me know what you think. If you're new here, please subscribe. I do one of these a day, 30-minute videos. Usually just one series runs at a time until we get to the next one where I put a poll up and we kind of pick what game we want to play next. So please, I hope to see you on Episode 2. Stay frosty.